Uh, hello everyone. Thank you for joining in today. My name is Kevin and I'm the developer of Kimai. Um, in this video, I want to show you the new working contract features. Now, this video is going to be a first overview. Um, there will be new videos to which discuss all these features in detail. The working contract feature includes expected and actual work time comparison, an overtime view, uh, monthly approvals with PDF documents, public holiday management, and your employees can log vacations, sickness days, time off, and other kinds of absences. A small note from my end before we start. This is my development system. Um, it contains randomly generated data, and if you see some strange numbers, that's why. There's obviously no 40 hours working day, but if you generate data as I do, it sometimes happens. Okay, looking at the menu, you directly see these new three new uh, menu points over here. And the first time the working times is the heart of this new feature set. If I click on it um, the first time, I see a summary of everything that is currently in Kimai for this uh, selected user. And you see that there have been no target hours configured yet for this user. Uh, so the user is missing all his employment contract settings. When I click on this link, I directly reach the new configuration screen. And for the sake of this demonstration, I configure a 40 hours working week. And I'm going to leave the fields below empty for now, coming back to this. Now, after saving these settings and opening the screen again, it changed. Because now Kima has all the information uh, required to calculate uh, plus and minus hours. You see the first row in the summary has one column per month and the total sum, which is probably the most interesting one for the employees. You have a small box which just lists the expected hours currently configured. And we have this working time card and this is the most important one. In a normal working environment, this would look totally different. Obviously, users are not missing so many days. Um, but you see that Kimai calculates every day, compares it to the expected hours. And in each of these cells, we see the result of that calculation. In front, we have the expected or the target hours and the actual locked hours and the total sum, which then sums up to this one point. You also see this um, lock icon, which indicates that this month can, month can still be edited. Usually, you want to lock down months um, one or two weeks after the month ended. And you do that by clicking the right button and selecting complete months from the drop down. You get a warning that after completing the month, the user will not be able to change anything before the first of the next month. Because it would obviously change the entire calculation if a data would be could be changed further back in the um, in the timeline so we see the results for january and click save and after reloading the page we see that the page is now logged or the month is logged and everything before can't be edited anymore um, we see who uh, completed the month and at which date that happened if we Right click this row now, there's a new menu showing up 
and this one will give us the PDF with the results for that month. Again, you see the uh, day of the week, of the date and expected hours, or target hours, and the actual worked hours, and the, and the result. If we close that one, you see this box below, and these are the manual bookings. And manual bookings um, can be used to add or subtract hours from the um, working time account. One of the most usual use cases is probably when um, a new year starts and you take over the hours from the last year. So let's say this user worked way too much last year and we're taking over hours from 2022. And we give him 340 hours. Now these 340 hours will be added to the 1st of January. And as you can see, the summary changed. And for January, we have the 340 hours now on top. If we open that again, we see who created that booking, at which date was it created, and yeah, what was the reason for it. Those entries can't be changed anymore, but you can always create a new one. Now let's assume that we paid uh, most existing over mm, or plus hours. Um, let's say we paid for 200 hours. And that means the user got money for these over hours and we now subtract them again from, from his account. We can enter positive or negative durations here. I'll book that from February and after saving now you'll see that 200 minus our appear in the summary row. They appear here as well. That's how you can adjust the hourly account for every user. Now, what about public holidays? This screen here is, can only be reached by admins and we can choose different groups or created three for Germany. Um, we can have a look at them. So each group basically consists of a list of public holidays with a name and a date. And those can either be half days or full days. Usually a public holiday is a full day, but um, sometimes it's a half day. Every user who is not has not an assignment of a dedicated public holiday group will be in the default group. This is fine if your company is only at one location. But if you have employment all over the world or in different states of the same country, you might have different public holiday holidays um, and therefore you need to create different groups for those employees. And I'm just going to create a demo group for Vienna. That's where I'm living. And after I created that group, I can now either create manually all public holidays or we can ask Kimai to import them for us. And here it's Austria Vienna and after selecting we see all um, public holidays which Kimai knows of. After clicking the import button I are now in the list here. And we can just now um, now how do you assign them to a user? You do it as before, you open this employment contract and select this group. And after saving, I expect that this user account now has less minus hours because some of those days were public holidays. Yes, it's uh, already 
went down to minus 10 hours. And if I open this now, you see days with these points over here, these blue dots. If you hover over them, you see uh, what happened on that day or some special booking involved and you see the amount of hours which were calculated for that. On this day, for example, you see eight hours, eight were expected. So why do we have two and a half plus hours? Because for this day, 1st of May, um, there was already a timesheet existing. Kima will only calculate until the current day, which is the 5th of September. So everything in the future will not show up below here and it's not used for calculation as well. So the last points are absences. And if I open the screen, you'll see that Kima knows four different kinds of absences. It's uh, holidays, um, time off, sickness and other kinds of absences. And the first two ones can't be chosen right now because my um, account has a negative balance and also my user doesn't have any vacation days configured yet. So what I want to do first is create some uh, time entries or just a manual booking for the sake of the demonstration um, to get into um, a positive balance. And therefore I go over here and create for the current day a demo. Oh, let's, let's say it's for yesterday. And we add 20 hours. Mm -hmm. Okay, going back to absence screen, I can now book a time off. So time off is only for informational purpose. It doesn't change anything on regarding your working time calculation for that day. Just take time off. And I want to leave for three hours. If I save that, it appears in the list down here, three hours. I'm going back to working time for the first of September, 4th of September. You see that it's still minus eight hours. And you see that there was a time off um, booked with three hours. Time off do not calculate, as I said, um, for for the working account, because when you are not there, it's a minus hours. That's exactly what should happen. But if you book a sickness day, let's say you were sick last, last week, which started in August 28th and ended on Sunday. And I had flu. And I'll save that. And you now see that um, it calculates as full days. And if I go over here for the in the in the, in the working time count, my um, account actually has risen or the status of that account, and you see that those days are now even. And you see that Kimai calculates uh, or fills up the day. Yeah, so if there was no time booked for that sickness day, it will, Kimai will use the expected hours for that day. But if there was a timesheet um, existing already. For example, the, your employee came to work and then got sick during the working day and there are timesheets existing and Kima will just fill up the expected hours also with the remaining time. So here the user already worked for two hours and 45 minutes. Now what about absences? Uh, about holidays, sorry. If I go again back into my profile and switch to the employment contract screen 
Uh, let's say this user has 30 days of holiday. I can now book that as a vacation. And it's like the uh, signal screen. You can choose a date and for a starting and end date. And then you can just say, I wanna, I wanna fly to the beach, save and this is now in the list and you see that you have taken 11 of your 30 available days. Kimai will not create holidays for days where there were no expected hours. So in this case, the weekend is um, not booked. If I create holiday just for, for a demonstration purpose and the past, just three days and I'll say these were half days which moving to a new apartment they show up as half days down here and I'll go back to working times the status again um, became higher because holidays are calculated as internally as working hours and you see down here that they um, now count with four hours because it were half days and the expected hours for these days were eight hours All the other um, details will be discussed in new videos. I think that's enough for a first overview. Um, yeah, thank you for listening and see you next time.